Welcome to Weld.com. <clears throat> Been fielding some questions here. The guys are writing some technical stuff where they're getting into rollout procedure, shop welds for speed, prefab. And, uh, you know, this is kind of a trick. I've actually, believe it or not, I've actually had people flunk this test. They come into our shop to do, to do some rollout stuff and they flunk it because they can't match up the speed and the short arc settings and it's obvious they're not a fabricator and shop hand, prefab hand. So we let them go immediately. This is all about, you know, just like if you were doing this in position, there's some certain technique or whatnot, but this is just using a positioner, keeping a good short arc setting and welding about 11 o'clock up here, 10:30, 11 o'clock, somewhere over here where the pipe is rotating away from you. It's a really simple weld. After the root, uh, I generally kind of buff out my, my glass, my deposits on the toes of the welds. I hit the starts and stops. If there's a part in there that looks like it may be a, a cold start or something, I blend that down. Uh, my experience has been switch over to a flux core wire and do a fill pass and then do a cap. You can make a six inch weld like this in 10 minutes drink coffee in between passes, you know, let it cool off a little bit. Nothing hard about this. You just have to understand a few things, you know, about your machine and, and rolling this out. I have six inch schedule 80. I've tacked it. I tacked mine in three places. So I've got like two half inch fit tacks that are 180 degrees apart. And I have a one inch tack over here that I've feathered the starts and stops. And I would start over here, I'd feather all these and I'd start on this tack and go clear around. Actually, if you do your tacks right, you can, you can blaze this whole weld out without stopping. But, uh, you know, pretty quick, things go pretty quick if you, if you got everything set up right. 75, 25 gas, about 20, 25 cubic feet per hour, 035 ER70 S6 hardwire and crank this baby in here. Nothing hard about it. It's really actually kind of fun to do. So we'll get some gear on and be right back. Come on, darling. Man cub. Make sure that ground's tight, will you? Oh, well, it's fluttering a little bit. That was pretty quick. Uh, I went ahead and ground the toes of the welds and knocked the face down a little bit and there's one start and stop in there. Again, nothing super hard about it. Just gotta pay attention to settings, matching the speed and everything. It'll vary some. I'm just kind of wiggling this thing in here and staying just on the leading edge of the, of the weld pool and breaking the edges down, trying to get a little profile on the inside. And that's indicative of what you can get all the way around. And I came in here with the grinder and uh, knocked the top edges off the little glass. There's a little bit showing, but if I was running 045 flux core, I'm gonna blow all that stuff out of there anyway. And it's gonna, you could flush this up with one pass, 
turn right around and do your cap. I used to do a lot of this stuff on uh, prefab and rollout for refinery work. And I'd sit at a positioner and I'd have four five inch Makitas set up, wire wheel, eighth inch, quarter inch, cone stone for cleaning the inside of the pipes. And I could sit here and just knock these welds out. Take about, take about eight minutes, 10 minutes on a weld like this, drink coffee in between, read the newspaper in between passes. Seriously, you can get some production stuff done on these pretty quick. 100% x-ray, just gotta grind starts and stops, pay attention to uh, staying clean, nothing extremely difficult. So, uh, cool unit. I mean, it's 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 fun to have these little rollout machines and positioners available. We used to do a lot of prefab, a lot of prefab on pups to elbows, elbows to flanges, all kinds of eccentric and concentric reducers. Anything that you can spin and work up in a spool piece becomes high productivity. You can get it done. Hey, big shout out to uh, Weiler for providing the discs for prep, flapper wheels, eighth inch grinding wheels, the, the uh, wire wheels and everything. I could hand file this and prep it and I'm still waiting on the camera guy. Get your work area organized. These welds pay for themselves. I mean, these, you know, consider this to be a $100 prefab weld or weld or whatever. You can knock it out in like 10 minutes or less. So making money, speed and productivity is where it's at. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Please subscribe to the channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you. Now what? Oh, God. I, I'm not falling for this anymore. Don't. <laughs> Don't do it.